love the end of the school year because it's a time to celebrate um, our youth. <laughs> so we have another um, presentation tonight, and this is by the Folks Ranch School, uh, well, Folks Ranch Elementary School, uh, Jim Bentley's class, um, and it's sixth grade or fifth grade? Six, right? Thought so. Okay, good. So I've known Jim for for quite a while and seen a lot of his classes uh, over the years produce some pretty amazing things. And I know that this class is taking it over the top with their um, production of this special waste collection center safe transportation video. So uh, we're excited to have you here tonight. And I think Cedar, you're going to lead this, or, ha or what are we doing? Oh, sorry. All right. <clears throat> Good evening, Mayor and Council. My name is Angela Frost, and I am a Management Analyst in Development Services. For the past year, I've had the privilege of working with the Integrated Waste Department on a project to put together an educational video on how to transport household hazardous waste from one's home or business to the city's future Special Waste Collection Center. And I've also had the privilege to work on this project with Mr. Jim Bentley, who is a, an exceptional sixth grade teacher and film instructor, and his amazingly talented sixth grade students from the Folks Ranch Elementary School Film Academy. They've graciously spent hours and hours on this project and have helped with the script writing, the filming, and the editing. We sincerely, sincerely thank them for their time, talents, and contributions. Tonight they have a short, brief clip on the video that they'd like to share with you, and so I'll turn it over to Jim Bentley to share more information on his program. Thank you. While Jim's coming up, I, I, I know you won't highlight this, but Jim was the Civic Educator of the Year um, nationally just a couple of years ago. So I think what you're going to see is evidence of that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, guests, friends, students. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. We are truly honored to be able to work with the city of Elk Grove and the amazing, wonderful, and very humble Cedar Kehoe and the city's integrated waste division. Um, this kind of opportunity is a very special one. Uh, Mr. Trigg, I think you know a few things about education that you'd probably agree. It is my distinct pleasure to be able to work with students like this, and we also have students in the audience as well. If you're part of the Folks Ranch Film Academy, part of our class, would you stand up really quickly and take a wave? We have a few more. You, you might notice a few extra cameras tonight. Yes, you are being filmed as we're being filmed here. Um, I'll explain or let my students explain what the filming is about uh, in just a moment, but uh, we appreciate you acknowledging what we're doing, allowing us to do this, and um, it, it's, it's a fantastic way to blend literacy, reading, writing, civics, public policy studies, uh, governance, concepts like federalism really come to bear when we look at things like this. So uh, without much further ado, I'm not going to say much more. These guys are way more interesting than I am. I appreciate your time, and I'll turn it over to uh, Haley Reines. Hi, I'm Haley Reines, and I'm one of the producers. This project has truly been a team effort. My fellow producers and Producers and I began scripting fall of 2012 after we studied multiple brochures and videos about household hazardous waste and how to properly dispose and transport it. The voiceover team came in during their first week of vacation in March for almost three hours to record a five and a half minute voiceover. On March 26th and 27th, a team of students spent a total of 16 hours filming at Mr. Bentley's house in his garage. Cedar Kehoe and her staff were present to assist. Our editors began working in early April, matching product shots with the audio. We expect to finish by June 20th. During this experience, we strengthened our writing skills and our ability to work patiently in teams. We've learned how to plan and shoot film and how to edit both audio and video. This experience has given us the opportunity to learn 21st century skills. I now like to hand it over to my fellow classmate, Christian Bean. Good evening, Council. My name is Christian Bean. It's a pleasure to be here tonight and talk to you. In addition to making a film for our city, we are also producing a documentary about this project. Our class is partnering with the World We Want Foundation for a second year in a row. This foundation is a nonprofit organization that empowers kids to participate in social impact projects, such as making films 
on how to educate people on how to properly dispose of their household hazardous waste. So without further ado, I'd like to present to you a three minute clip of the film we're creating for the World We Want Foundation. Five years ago, Mr. Valley's class wanted to make the world a better place by solving the problem of improper battery disposal in their community. They were working on a project-based curriculum called Project Citizen, which teaches kids how to monitor and influence public policies. Mr. Bentley's students contacted Cedar Keogh, the city of Elk Grove's integrated waste manager, about placing battery disposal centers at all schools in the Elk Grove School District. They met with her to discuss this. She loved their idea, but she was unable to carry out their plans because she lacked the funds to do so. Every single one of the cities in the state of California and nationally have the exact same problem. So my request to get funding, I submit that to the state along with every other city and county submitting requests for funding from the state. There isn't nearly enough money to begin to cover the disposal costs. Two years ago, Mr. Bell students revisited this topic while working on Project Citizen again and partnering for the first time with the World We Want Foundation. Students met with Cedar once more to propose a new policy, placing a single battery collection station at our school. This time, Cedar turned down their plan based on safety concerns. You can get a spontaneous fire. So although having a small container of batteries here is probably not a risk, there is always a risk when you're dealing with something that's a hazardous material to some extent. If you happen to bring in all lithiums, all fully charged, and they were all in a big pile, I couldn't tell you that's not a risk. I can't have a risk at this school system. That is not something that we really can do. Um, just because, you never know. Instead, she proposed Mr. Billy really students produce a film explaining how citizens of Elk Grove could properly package and safely transport all their household hazardous waste to the city's new specialized collection center that was in the process of being built. Angela Frost, I would like to introduce to you. She has been assigned your new project. So our city manager has selected her to help you complete your video assignment. And I will tell you, at this point, our city council, our city manager, and our assistant city manager have all heard you're producing this video. So they expect a product. So no backing out now, guys. Last year, Mr. Bentley's sixth grade class started to script and film that video, but we're only able to finish before they promoted to seventh grade. This year, we are here to finish the job the students before us have begun. At this time, I'd like to hand it over to my fellow colleague, Jared Allen. I'm Jared Allen. I've worked on this production as a producer, editor, writer, camera operator, and on-screen talent for this film. We expect to complete editing June of 2013. We will shoot more footage when late summer, early fall, when the facility is open, showing the completed facility in the process of dropping off your household hazardous waste. It's been a huge honor working with the city on this production. We're excited to know this will be shown on the city's website and other media outlets for years to come. We have a minute and a half clip for, of the film for you tonight that will give you an idea and the look of the completed project. to measure someone's temperature. Batteries from your iPod and video games. Oh, thanks, you didn't use that. Pesticides or herbicides you don't need anymore. 
jammed aerosol cans that will not spray but are full. All of these types of waste items need to be disposed of as household hazardous waste. Household hazardous waste should never be thrown in curbside trash carts, washed down the drain, or poured on the ground. The City of Elk Grove has constructed a special waste collection center for the proper disposal of your household hazardous waste. What are household hazardous waste? In California, leftover household products that contain corrosive, toxic, ignitable, or reactive ingredients are called household hazardous waste, and these items are the products you handle every day. Yard and garden products, ant spray, insecticides, moth repellents, chemical fertilizers, pool and hobby products, adhesives and glues, furniture strippers, paint thinner, turpentine. Many cleaners and common products to use in your home like oven cleaners, wood and metal cleaners, bleach base cleaners, spot removers. Things in your garage such as automotive products, car waxes, gasoline, transmission fluids, or paint products. And now I'll hand it over to my fellow colleague, Emily Souza. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here tonight. I'm Emily Souza, and I worked as on-screen talent and helped film. This is our first project with Cedar in the city, and we're looking forward to many more to come. Cedar is hoping to make more short films showcasing the reuse room and hard to recycle station at the Special Waste Collection Center. Also, she's expressed a need for films educating Elk Grove residents on the city's small business household hazardous waste program, as well as what should be placed in curbside trash recycling and green waste bins. Working on this film for the city has truly meant a lot to us. The average sixth grader doesn't get opportunities like this every day. By educating the city of Elk Grove with our film, we feel we are making a the world a better place. By making a documentary about this project, we hope to inspire other kids to make a difference too. Thank you for your time. We are now ready for any comments or questions you might have. Okay, so any comments or questions? Uh, yes, I, I have a comment. I, I just want you to know I thought it was an outstanding job. I was very, very proud of what you had done, and I'm just delighted to know that you're here representing not only your wonderful school, but also the uh, Elk Grove Public Schools. And so thank you very much for the professional job. I concur, and I just say, I, you guys blow me away that you're in sixth grade with how articulate you are at the podium and that you're making such a professional quality uh, video. I wish you great speed in uh, its completion, and how proud are you that these kids are representing you so well? I have the best job in the world. Huh? Gosh. <laughs> I'll, ditto, I'll ditto that. And, you know, I look forward to seeing where you guys are in 20 years. I won't be surprised if one of you are up here in not too too distant future. So no, keep, they're, they're aiming for better things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so keep up the good work, and uh, we look forward to, we'll, we'll keep tabs on you through, through your teacher there. I'm just so proud of you guys. You guys are amazing. Your teacher's amazing, and you're very well spoken. That's good. You're getting a good education. So, amazing product. I'm happy. Cedar, thank you, Angela. Thank you. Great job. Keep it up. And you guys are having a big part in this. Everyone in the city and the region will see this video you're making. So, that's what's truly amazing. At this age, and you're all 11 or 12, and it's truly amazing you guys are doing this. So, congratulations. Uh, job well done. Still some work to do, though. Yeah, so, so you guys, I know this is a work in progress. The, you know, we've got to wait till the facility is complete. It's, it's going to be really exciting as we're able to show the whole thing and the facility complete and the the, uh, the whole video uh, in action from complete, you know, from beginning to end. Um, I just want to add. I mean, you know, you all. Uh, are delivering a very powerful message in a way that people are going to listen. And, uh, you know, young people, uh, when they stand up for something, adults and other young people listen. 
And so your willingness to stand up and advocate, you're advocating, right? You're producing a video, you're looking at this as a project, but you're also advocating for uh, less of these dangerous materials into landfills, and that's a, uh, a very long-term, substantial thing to advocate for. So, you know, just know that yeah, this may seem like a project to you, but uh, you are through it uh, transforming yourself into a leader, and you're going to continue to carry this forward as you advocate for other things uh, throughout the rest of your life. And I'm just excited to say that uh, you got your start in Elk Grove, and we're looking forward to seeing what comes next. But congratulations and thank you. Thank you very much again. We do appreciate this opportunity. This is truly not your typical textbook opportunity, and this is really what learning is about. So thank you very much. Absolutely. All right.